Good morning, everybody. I'm reading today Matthew 5, 44. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Amen. Moseb Hassan Yusuf is the oldest son of Sheikh Hassan Yusuf, a co-founder of Hamas. His father, said to be the most popular leader of Hamas, spent many years in Israeli prisons. Moseb grew up in the West Bank with the intention of becoming a fighter and inheriting his father's work. He was first arrested at the age of 10 for throwing rocks at Israeli settlers during the first in Intifada. As a young man, doubts about Islam began to form in his mind when he witnessed his Hamas colleagues torturing other Hamas members while searching for traitors. He also noted how Hamas used the suffering of the Palestinian civilians, including children, to try to achieve its goals. He himself underwent brutal interrogations from Israeli soldiers. He spent a number of years in prison. He saw that there were extremists on both sides. Despite all of this, he started spying for the Israelis. In the midst of a blood-soaked region, his work is said to have averted even more violence. In 1999, Mossab met a British missionary and listened to the gospel. After a time, he became a follower of Jesus. And in 2005, was secretly baptized in Tel Aviv. Leaving the West Bank, he traveled to the USA in 2007, where he applied for asylum and was eventually given it. Writing a letter to a critic in 2011, he, he said this, Christ pursued me until I found him and accepted his challenge to forgive and love my enemies. This was very hard for me to do and took a long time. He also wrote to the same person, I want you also to know that I forgive you with all my heart and I hope that you will not suffer too much hurt in any backlash for what you have done. But perhaps surprisingly to some, he renounced all types of religion. He wrote, whether it is Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, animism, anyism, religion can't save mankind. Only Jesus could save mankind through his death and resurrection. And Jesus is the only way to God. Amen. <laughs> I've put a link to the the complete letter, which is worth reading, I think, in the description below this video. But we thank God that in a world of suffering, the glory of Jesus shines through in every life that he lays hold of. May we be encouraged to continue to pray for his kingdom to come into lives, one by one, wherever and whoever they are. Amen. Have a great day.